All right, here we are in the <laughs> Steam VR home, and I'm about to start up Cooking Simulator. So it's gonna be my first look at it. I've not booted it up yet, and so I'm hoping that uh, it'll run smoothly, and we'll get this recording kind of on way. But here we go. Let's launch Cooking Sim VR. Pretty excited for this one. My friend Rayman over here, he uh, is also very excited for it. So let's check it out. And we're gonna go to Cooking School. It seems. We have to learn about how to cook. The text is very blurry, but that's probably because if I go into settings here, I can go and make it uh, higher quality. Oh, I'll have to restart if I go all the way up to ultra. Let's apply the high changes. Okay, it doesn't seem to do much. Let's go ahead and go into cooking school, though. Achievement unlocked. Nothing lasts forever. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Actually, not so beautiful. This thing looks broken. Looks broken as heck. We can repair. Okay, take the phone, choose repair company, and wait until the repair is over. We have to get this repaired for us. Um, initial thoughts looking around in this cooking sim VR. Things look very, very detailed. Uh, the hand presence is really nice. I've got finger tracking with the index. Each digit moves as expected. Um, the finger does move with the index where you don't actually have to hit the button. It curls over. The index has like some sort of sensor. You're not even hitting a button. Like, I'm not even touching a button right now, and my finger is curving over. And so it has all of that support, which is pretty nice. Can I pick up one of these? It says 120 grams? Or G is in gold. Is this money that we have to buy? Things look very detailed, though. I like it. It looks like a real cucumber. Here we got a bunch of stuff. We can take a plate from the stack. Oh, nice. Do you think it'll break if I throw it? No. No, the plate does not break when I throw it. Okay, we really have to bend all the way over to pick it up, but that's fine. This looks like we're going to be able to serve up our food. Here's the radio. Can I change it? Oh, wow. Oh, the Hall of the Mountain King. I can turn it down in here. Nice, very nice. Oh, that's cool, we can change our <laughs> music in here. That's really neat. I might end up turning it off, but here we go. We can grab the mouse. Oh my gosh, I'm using a mouse in VR. It's got my name up here. And I can click. Oh, this is really cool. Using a computer in VR, I've never really done in this regard. So this is kind of cool. You got a little mouse here. We got the navigation tab. We can go through the tabs. Look at that stuff. Here's the restaurant info. And you'll find out information about your restaurant. So we own a restaurant here. We can manage recipes. If you want to cook any dishes, the window, you'll be able to cook the dishes. And there's perks we can make cooking easier. We got skill points. Oh, man, this is really chalking up to be just, you know, a typical simulator where you've got all these different skill points and stuff you can level up. Um, design your kitchen as you wish. Okay, cool. We can even design the kitchen. Awesome. And we got a good start achievement. Um, Okay, so we did that. We did, we looked at the, the PC and mouse. Interesting. So we can go here to restaurant info. Man, this really feels like I'm using... Obviously, it's, there's not much to it. It's just moving a mouse and then clicking the, the, the trigger. But it feels like I'm using a real a thing. It just feels so natural. What a natural way to do input in a game. I'm surprised I haven't seen this more. This is like the first time I'm seeing, you know, using a computer mouse in, in a VR game, honestly. Uh, but it looks like here we can we can make this fried shrimp order if someone orders it. We've got all these different orders and stuff. Oh, someone ordered it, I guess, when I click the order button. I finished this tutorial. Okay. Oh, I don't want to reset it. Oh, darn it. Okay. Well, it looks like I have to go all the way through this. Done. Okay. And then done. Cool. I don't need to reset that tutorial again. Um, but we can, like, change all this stuff up. That's really cool. And this is something. It's just a cookbook or something here that we can't really do anything with, I guess. Who knows? Maybe we can. Maybe I'm missing out on things. But it looks like we go around. We have all these different, like, uh, all these different tutorials we can do. So here's a tablet and this has all the different ingredients I would assume. At the top of the screen you can find the items okay so different spices we need we can buy different things, utensils, wow this is very detailed try to buy a small pot, okay we'll go to utensils uh, and a small pot, here we go, small pot, buy Oh. It shows up right in my hand. There no no delivery. It's Amazon Instant, not Amazon One Day. Amazon Instant delivery. Um, you can use a tablet anywhere. You don't have to have the tablet when you don't have the tablet in the hand. Items should spawn above it or in a container if you have anything in your hands. Oh, okay. So there's some sort of container that they'll spawn in. In a container. Interesting. Okay, cool. What does this just 
drop, it follows gravity. Fair enough. All right, so we have this pot here. Let's put it on the stove. Nice. It drops right there. Preparing meat. We have like a grill here. We can turn it up. Oh, wow. Everything's seeming very detailed right now. I'm actually really liking all this detail. Um, let's see here. Let's let's try using a knife. Using a knife, I think, will be very immersive in VR. Uh, slice lemon into four equal pieces and 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 put it on a plate. Here's the plate we're gonna use. Oh, I guess we can't really move the plate. There's our lemon. Here's our knife. Nice. We'll hold on to the lemon. Let's. Oh man, it doesn't quite doesn't quite cut right away. <gasps> it started to go. Oh man, it's like starting to go. Do I have to leave the lemon there on its own? No, I, I really do need to hold it, I think. Oh, I just have to push straight down. I was trying to like slice it. Okay, so there's two equal pieces. We'll try to do this again. I just am supposed to push straight down, which is interesting. That's not how you're supposed to actually use a knife. You're supposed to slide a knife. The cutting action comes from the sliding, but here it's just having us push down right into it. That's fine. It still feels very cool. Here's our four pieces of lemon. Let's see how good we did. did he, is this our star rating? Oh, okay. Our four pieces. Here's our four pieces. We have 21 grams, 14 grams, 20 grams, and 25 grams. Not perfectly even, but 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 not too bad. Okay, cool. Okay, well, we, we cut a lemon. Very nice. What over here? So these are all the tutorials. We're just doing tutorials, I guess. Dish stacks. We took a plate. We already did that. Put one potato and one onion onto the plate. I don't know where that plate went, but we'll go ahead and put one potato. I have to actually grab it from here. One potato. One onion. Where are the onions? Which ones are onions? Am I an idiot? There's green onion. It's a scallion. This kind of looks like onion. These are tiny onions. When I buy onions, they're like eight times as big as that. These are tiny. These look like Brussels sprouts. All right, whatever. We have an onion. We have a thing. Open the fridge and put one salmon piece on the plate. Is this a fridge? Oh, beautiful. Now, if I was salmon, what would I look like? I'm letting all the cold out of here. No, no, no. Stay open. Stay open, door. Stay open. Where is the salmon? Oh, right here. This looks like salmon. Yeah, that's a salmon filet. Beautiful. We'll grab that and we'll put it on the plate. There it is. Anyone want some raw food? Raw potato, raw onion, raw salmon? Okay, I can kind of slam these shut. That's nice. If I'm getting mad, I can slam them. This kitchen is a disgrace, and I can slam the door. Okay, cool. We have our plate with this stuff on it. Not sure what to do with it. It's just on here. Uh, I just finished it, so I'm going to leave this plate in the fridge, I guess. I don't want to waste food. We'll put it right in here. Did that knock over? No, it's still there. Okay. Thought the door would have hit it and would have knocked over. There's all these different tutorials. This is actually really nice. Kind of see how things work. Here's a fryer, it seems. A fryer basket. We can dip down in. Wow. That's immersive. You can fill it up. Okay, cool. Things kind of snap into place. Can I click these? <laughs> I don't know if it really makes a sound. I think that's just my controller squeaking. A microwave. Of course, we can use a microwave. We can turn up the dial. Turn up the time in five minute increments, it seems. A food processor. Wow, this has like everything in it. I'm actually really excited to play more of this game um, and actually get into like some of the levels. So, this is like repair. We have to dial on the phone, it said earlier. Let's go ahead and go to this meat one here. And let's see. <clears throat> we want to fry the meat on both sides. You can turn it around by using a spatula or tongs. Try it out. There's some tongs behind us. Oh, there's a spatula there too. Um, hold trigger and press trigger and then hold the ground. Okay, so trigger and then grab. Oh nice So we can do a far a far pull. Oh It just kind of automatically goes on there. I don't actually get to slide it under I wish that I wish I didn't trigger so quick I put it down and I get somewhat close to it and it just goes right on it I wish it didn't trigger until I was like halfway under it uh, I'm fine with things like glitching straight to it, but it, it triggers like too fast I would say all right turn over the stakes and turn on the grill. Okay, turn on the grill. Oh, golly. That cooked immediately. That's not how fast stuff cooks. I'm also cross-contaminating things. I'm overcooking this one. Put this over here, I guess. Is this a timer? It's one of those weird timer stoves where it's, it's on a timer. Oh, this one's cooking up now. 
Okay, cool, 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 cool. Steaks are ready. I think we've done it, right? The steaks look ready to me. They look overdone. Actually. Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. We don't want to overhook them. And now we're done. I'll put this back up there. Oh, no, I can't. Well, whatever. We're done. I'm going to eat this. No, I can't eat this. Well, what's the point if we can't eat it? All right, we've done that. Where's the water? I want to fill this up. Oh, there's water. Let's see if we can boil water on my own. Oh, nice. Is it filling up? Holy moly. It fills up in my hand, and it reacts kind of to me tipping it, not really sloshing it around. And we'll go ahead and... We'll, oh, there it goes. We'll throw this on the burner. Let's see how long it takes to fire it up. There it is. For it to boil. I'm going to let that go for a minute. Here's some seasoning stuff. Wow. Liquids, herbs, and dry spices. Let's add some flavor to our meats. Use five grams of salt. This looks like salt. That is salt. Three grams of, of thyme and 10 milliliters of clarified butter. Is this clarified butter? This is. And then where's our thyme? This is thyme. There's thyme. Okay. And then to, to season the trout. This one's the trout. That's the trout. How do I know how much I've done? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, seven. Oh my gosh, I've done way too much. Oops. And then the, the, the time. One, two, three. Oh, I, I did the time before. Now I'm doing the saw. Oh, I've done more than that. Here's the butter. Oh, did I take off the cap? Holy moly. Whoa. I just put on a significant amount too much. I, I've over seasoned this thing an insane amount. All these little pop ups are, are a little disruptive. This is not boiling yet. Is it hot? I don't know if I can touch it. Okay, so I need to reset this. I way overdid that. Reset the trout. Okay, here we go. We're going we're to do the five, five grams of salt immediately. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Five grams of salt. We've done the salt. Cool. Now we need three grams of thyme. One. Two, three. Beautiful. And then 10 milliliters of the butter. But this stuff flies. <gasps> One milliliter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we did ten. Oh, that was stressful. That's stressful. I can't put the cap back on. Oh, it fell right back on. Beautiful. Hey, we've done it. We've done the trout. Nice. Now we're going to use five grams of pepper. This looks like peppercorns, right? Yeah, this is black pepper. And then, okay, we'll do the pepper first. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five grams of pepper. <gasps> I did six grams of pepper. No. I'm going to have to reset this thing. I did six grams of pepper. Three grams of cilantro. Let's try it. Let's see if it, does, let's see if it gives it to us. I'm one gram over. One, two, three, and 15 milligrams of sunflower oil. Oh, we did 16. Oh, it doesn't even care. It doesn't even care. It's just slightly over. We did one, one milligram of the sunflower over, milliliter, oops, milliliter, and then, then one gram of pepper over. That's fine. We're going to be done with this one. Perfect. Seasoning seems very, very detailed. This is not boiling yet. Surprised this isn't boiling yet. I just dump out the water. Turn off that. We don't want to be. We don't want to have an unsafe kitchen. You know, like with spatulas hanging out. Okay, perfect. We got a couple more tutorials to go. Let's see here. What is this one? Liquids, liquid shedding. You can pour liquids into the containers in order to prepare a special mixture. Try the recipe below. Take a bottle of honey or olive oil. So here's honey and olive oil. Okay, we'll take a we'll take. We'll take honey. Let's take honey and take a add a hundred milliliters. Oh, let's do both of them. Man, we have Hall of the Mountain King playing in the background again. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Can you hear it? I turned down the game volume quite a bit, but I definitely can hear this. Hopefully, you can hear it too. There's not much like game volume, I guess, like items. I guess that makes noise. Hall of the Mountain King is definitely excellent for a kitchen. Okay. Um, let's see. Add a minimum of 100 milliliters of olive oil to the pot. Okay. 
Whoa, we did way more than that. That was fast. Um, at a minimum of 300 of honey. There we do, there we go, we did the honey, perfect. Add 200 milliliters of tap water. Cold tap water? Does it matter? All right, no, oh, don't drop the pot. Oh, it's pouring a lot. Water, 66, a minimum of 200. There we go, we got our 200 in order. To taste the mixture, put your open hand in the pot and then move it into your mouth. <laughs> that seems like it goes against some certain guidelines. Oh, perfect. I've tasted it. <laughs> I feel like Pooh Bear. Mmm, <laughs> honey. Perfect. Okay, we finished the tutorial. Now, last tutorial is to get someone to repair this thing for us. We're going to dial up our stuff. We're going to scroll somehow. Oh, okay. It's says how many seconds it takes. Choose a repair company. It's, it takes 33 seconds. Is it, like, cheaper or more expensive? I don't understand. Fast service. This says repair but then it's it's uh, it's fixed i don't know this is just different time let's give it let's do this one handyman 33 seconds the nicest one we use the phone to call and they are now fixing it it's going to take 33 seconds cool it's going to be the nicest repair though i would assume apparently everything else is self-explanatory looks like we're, we have a really nice restaurant we're in a high rise out here nice brick and then our heat pipes that end I don't know, maybe it's just a rail. We have, we have gas here. Can we pick this up? Oh, wow. I should not be trusted to pick that up. But yeah, it looks really nice. We got some fog on this this nice city. And we're up on a pretty high floor here. So this is very interesting. We're almost done with the tutorial. This thing just got repaired. And we finished it. Achievement unlocked. I know the theory. I sure do know the theory behind all this now. Cool. All the game modes are active and ready to play. And I can improve my skills more. Well, very nice. That's a first look at Cooking Simulator VR. I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. I'll play it probably on my Twitch stream. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 7 p.m. Central. Um, but I'll probably also make more YouTube videos of it as well, of doing certain, like, levels or whatever it has in store for us. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see next. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, Cooking Simulator so far? I like it. It's very detailed. Very nice. Take care. Bye.